is um, I don't usually come on on Sundays, but uh, I just finished watching a sermon from Stephen Burdick that that set me my heart ablaze, and um, it was called St "Staying Power." And those of you who know me know I love music and I relate everything to music. So when something hits me, I try and find a song that um, that c coincides with it. Um, and um, I, as he was preaching about um, uh, Paul being uh, in the boat and, and uh, um, staying in the storm and staying through the storm, I couldn't help but think of the song called "Thank You for Staying." It's the uh, it's a it's a it's a song about um, fathers and it's thanking them for staying, uh, for staying. And then there's a line in that song that goes, falling is easy, but standing takes strength. And what I wanted to say to you is not so much to stay only, because he seemed pretty preach that really well. It'll be online tomorrow. Uh, if you look it up. But I wanted to add to that and say, stand. Stand. Not only stay through the storm, but stand through it. And the scripture that came to me right at this moment, uh, when I thought of standing, I thought um, I thought of First Corinthians. Uh, I think no, I think it's oh sorry, it's Ephesians six. Sorry, not First Corinthians. It's Ephesians six, where it says, "Having done all, stand, 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 children of God, stand." Don't. Uh, don't just stay in the storm with a uh, heavy heart and grumbling and complaining. You're staying, but you're staying kind of, oh my God, I can't believe I have to go through this and blah, blah, blah. Stand. Stand flat-footed through it. Have a posture of, of praise through the storm and stand through it. Stand knowing that he will get you through. Stand knowing that you are taking lessons from this. Stand knowing that you will be better after this storm. Stand knowing that you'll be better through this storm. And um, it's, it's not that you meant he he said it's um it's not that you meant through it it's who you're listening to when you're going through it and as he was saying that I was thinking it's not only who you listen to but it's how you go through it are you going through this storm of quarantine with joy? Are you going through this storm with peace? Are you going through this storm with love? Beloved, I know it's hard, but keep going, keep going, keep going, don't give up. Um, Dr. Brian, Brian Stiller said to me, I said, what is the one thing you would tell somebody in ministry. And he said, just keep showing up. It, he said, it doesn't matter what's going on. It doesn't matter 
who's watching your videos, it doesn't matter if you get likes, it doesn't matter. All that doesn't matter. All you have to do is keep showing up and I will say this to you. Just keep going, keep going, keep standing, keep standing. I know it's hard to stand. I know the waves may be tossing. I know your family members may be in the hospital. I know that your job may be precarious and you don't know how you're gonna make it. But keep standing, keep standing, keep standing. Don't just stay, but stand in the storm. Don't just stay um, um, huddled over and like shaking in fear. Stand flat footed. Stand flat footed and know that he is there and he will and God will see you through. It's not only that you're going through. It's not only who you listen to, but it's how you're going through this storm. Are you I'll say it again. Are you going through it with peace? Are you going through it with joy? Are you going through it with love? And what are you taking out of this storm? Are you taking out of it uh, new ideas, new vision? And there's a line in the song I was thinking of. Um, uh, there's a line in the song that, uh, thank you for staying, it said, um, falling is easy, but standing takes strength. It's easy to run and quit and just give up, or it's easy to cower and, and like, oh, I'm staying in the storm, but I don't like it. God owes me something. Like, we fold our hands like God owes us something. God doesn't owe us anything. We owe him everything. So let's stand. Let's stand flat-footed and say, Devil, you can't have my joy. You can't have my peace. You can't have my singleness. You can't have my marriage. You can't have my children. And what lessons is he trying to teach you in this? While you're standing, you will see the greatness in yourself and the greatness of God in a new way. You'll begin to have an attitude of gratitude. You'll begin to have an attitude of just gratefulness. And you'll begin to see his faithfulness in a new way. You've been praying for new revelation. You've been praying for new perspective. You've been praying for understanding. Well, stand in the storm. Stand in the storm. Stand in the storm. In the name of Jesus, you will stand. You will not quit. You will not just go through the storm cowering in a corner like, oh, or fold your hands mad at God, you will stand. I know it's hard, beloved. Believe me, it's hard for me too. But stand in the storm. Stand. Stand against everything that's been trying to kill you. Don't let anything kill you. One thing that the Lord said to me, um, he said, you do not have permission. He said, Rachel, you do not have permission to die in the storm. You do not have permission to give up in the storm. You do not have, have my permission to just fold your hands and be mad and be frustrated. Yes, beloved, those feelings will come. But when they do, don't let them override God's greatness. 
Remember God is still good. Remember God is still God. Remember that he still loves you and stand in the knowledge of your God and that he's great and that he loves you and that all things are working together for the good of those who love him and are the called according to his purpose. All this corona crap is is um, working together for your good. All of this, you can't see it now, but look beyond what you see. Ask the Lord, Lord, what am I, what am I missing? What, what am I not seeing in this storm? And stand through, through it. Stand through it. Stand through it. Stand through it. Don't let the devil try and kill your heart. Try and kill your spirit. Try and kill your emotions. Try and tell you that it's over. It's not over. It's just beginning. It's just developing. This is a new beginning for you. It's not over. It's just developing. It's like a caterpillar. Caterpillars are slimy and they're gross and nobody likes caterpillars. But you need to go through the slimy and gross period to come out of something beautiful. But between the butterfly, you know, between the caterpillar period and the butterfly period, you have to go through something like a chrysalis period. And what a chrysalis is, is basically um, a dark period where you have to hide your, where, where the caterpillar hides himself away in preparation uh, to become the butterfly. And, oh yes, Lord, Corona uh, or COVID-19 is the chrysalis period. I don't know when the storm is over. I don't know what's going to happen there. But I do know that Corona, COVID-19 is the chrysalis period. It's the period of develop, development. It's, it's, it's the period where God is getting ready to um, take the world to where they've never been, to experience a level of glory that they have never seen before. So stand in it. Stand in the darkness. Stand flat-footed. Even if you have to crawl, crawl. Even if you, ha even if you can't move, do whatever you can. Even if you can't speak, nod. Whatever you have to do, but stand. And I don't mean in a physical posture. I mean you can stand spiritually. You can stand emotionally. Don't let the devil push you down and say that this is it for you. This is not it for you. This is just the beginning. You're in your chrysalis period. You're in your period of development. You're in your period of creativity. You're in your period of joy. You're in your period of peace. And it's, and it's going to be a period of new understanding for you. Um, what was that? Lord Jesus, today we receive your word. We receive your word to stand in spite of everything, Lord. We stand in spite of doubt. We stand in spite of fear. We stand in, in spite of uncertainty. We stand today, God. We stand today, God. We stand today, God. And we, we say, whatever, whatever you want to do, God, we don't know what's happening, but we stand through it. And we know that all, all of this, all of these things are working for our good. In the name of Jesus, teach us how to stand through this storm. 
We've never been this way before. Teach us how to stand through the storm. We've always given up or gone through this with a chip, gone through storms with a chip on our shoulder. But teach us how to stand with joy. Teach us how to stand with peace. Teach us how to stand with gratefulness. Give us a new level of gratitude that we have ne not yet experienced. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. After you've done all you can, you just stand. Okay, guys. I'll see you later. Literally. Um, for story time Sunday. Join me on YouTube later on tonight. Bye. And the Lord said, just as I was about to log off, he said he want, wants to thank those of you who stayed with him through the storm. He wants to say, like that lady said to her father in the song, he wants to say thank you for staying. Thank you for worshiping him. Thank you for believing in him. He wants to say thank you. And your reward won't go on giving. Your reward is coming. He knows it's been hard and he wants to say thank you for staying. Thank you for trusting. Thank you for loving him. Thank you for um, being open to his revelation. Thank you be for being open to his chastisement. Thank you be for being open to his um, revelation. Thank you for being op open to his um, Holy Spirit in this time. He wants to say to you, thank you for staying. Thank you for believing. Thank you for trusting. Thank you for being open to his conviction and receiving it with grace and understanding. Because the thing about God is he knows what you need before you do. And sometimes conviction um, may seem like condemnation, but conviction is for your better, betterment. And condemnation is to bring you down. He never wants to bring you up, bring you down. He always wants to lift you up. And he wants to say to those today, thank you for staying. Thank you for trusting. Thank you for loving him. Bye, guys. I want to thank you for staying and not leaving for never taking the easy way out for loving and always showing me what being my children is all about and I want to thank you for staying and not leaving for never taking the easy way out for loving and always 
and showing me what being my children is all about. Bye guys. Now I'm really closing. I'm such a typical preacher. I have like three closings. Now I'm really leaving. Bye.